Hello, this is Anna Coach here, and welcome to the reaction video. And today we'll be reacting to OverQuest. We'll be reacting to some of the other videos, videos, even though a lot of them are short, so I'll probably be reacting to the ones that he requested. And of course, it's most popular video. So let me just pull up the videos he asked me to react to because I totally forgot. <laughs> Hey, uh, just find them. And don't mind the noise. One is, and he wants me to react to the Demon Godzilla's life, and Demon Godzilla's, basically the Demon Godzilla's one. Demon Godzilla's life ending for Wattpad. Let's see, and let me just go to Godzilla Reader's channel real quick. Sorry for the inconvenience. Godzilla Reader. Let's react to, I believe, oh man, this video's old, okay, I'll be yet to believe, yeah, I think, this one, Alright, this one's only like a minute and 21 seconds long. So let's react, shall we? A monster named Godzilla attacked and destroyed Japan, killing citizen lives. And so he was finally killed by the ultimate weapon. Many years <laughs> and scientists used the sails of that monster in a satanic ritual. A satanic ritual, of course. Not any satanic rituals, that's for sure. <laughs> if you got that reference, kudos on you. <laughs> if single dead, dead, I should be tortured. My God, that water he uses. It's just terrifying. My god. That war that he uses is a bit terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. It's a bit terrifying. And next one he wanted me to react to is I believe the ending for it. So now I'm also gonna do another one. That he mostly because the video is these videos are oh, a little bit too long, too short. So let's see this one.
Oh, so it's kind of... Also, I noticed I used the Black Lagoon ending. <laughs> because, yeah, I do recognize that. Yeah, I don't think I recognize that. Man, that brings back bad from Black Lagoon. <laughs> Yeah, I have seen Black Lagoon. People who were wondering in the anime community. <laughs> and man, is brutal as hell. I can even draw some like fan art of Black Lagoon. Yeah, I... Just listening to that ending makes me just want to rewatch Back for Goon because I have not seen that since I was like in high school. <laughs> Literally, since I was in high school, I think I bench watched like Back for Goon and that was alright. It's brutal as hell, but it's alright. I just wish they would probably <laughs> and that does want me to rewatch Black Lagoon again because <laughs> I haven't seen that in years and now let's get to the probably the last video I'll probably want that to uh, the Godzilla his most popular video on his channel one that he's known for the most <laughs> One that has more, that has like what, 17k views? <laughs> the Soupmation Trials Analysis. Oh boy, the Soupmation Trials. <laughs> now, I don't know anything about the Soupmation Trials. I have, I don't know if, okay, I should probably get some contests for the Soupmation Trials. Apparently, it's, Smooth like to the monologue and the style, but they did it with Godzilla. And yeah, that's as close as I'm gonna get to it. So basically, it's just a monologue and the, the monologue and loyal style of Godzilla. Basically, footage. I don't know. I don't know what the whole story detail with the Sumation Trials is. But with that said, let's get to the Sumation Trials, shall we? Now, this is a longer video, so. Oh boy, the Subbation Trials. <laughs> Man. And plus, is that the only one who did a Subbation Trials analysis? I think Godzilla Q did one too. But let's be at shall we? Hold on a second. <laughs> Sorry. Algies. Yeah. I really hate summer. Hello, everybody. I'm the Godzilla Reader, and, you know, have you ever thought that Godzilla never really had a horror story for himself? Hi, Gorosaurus. Now, granted, you could say that the original movie was a horror movie because, well, it was very dark and disturbing. Although, I don't really see it as a horror movie, if I'm being honest. Or I guess you could say that Shin Godzilla 
in particular its design is scary and what it does is also scary. Well, I will have to disagree because the movie doesn't even go that dark, so... Nah. If anything, the closest thing we got to a Godzilla horror story is the infamous NES Godzilla creepypasta. Although I'm not going to talk about that because... Well, it's already been talked about by a lot of people and... If I were to make a video about it, it's going to be a repeat of what other people said. Which is basically saying that this creepypasta is the best creepypasta to be ever written. So, yeah. Today, I'm going to talk about something that a lot of people don't seem to talk about. And this, my friend... I'm actually kind of curious to see what the creepypasta is. A great is. return for a horror story starting Godzilla. Can I actually kind of want to play the creepypasta, to be honest. You see how crazy it is. <laughs> The Submission Trials is a channel that was created the 30th of April of 2020. And it's basically an analog horror series starring Godzilla. Now, as I'm recording this right now, there only has been three videos regarding this series. No fourth or fifth, just three in the moment. And it mostly has to do with the fact that the creator of this series really didn't have a lot of time to continue on it, since he was quite busy, which is alright. However, despite only having three videos on the channel, we can still analyze them and understand what's going on. After all, one of the main themes of analog horror is mystery. And this is what we're going to do right now. We're going to analyze all three videos and understand the mystery of the Sudmation Trials. So starting with the first video of the series, instance number one. The video begins with text coming from the protagonist, which we don't know the name yet, who basically explains how he wanted to get back to the Godzilla franchise by basically doing a marathon through every Godzilla movie. He proceeds to go to Godzilla raids again. However, in the moment where he sees the second confrontation between Godzilla and Angiris, he notices something off about it. And then this happens. That is pretty creepy. Man, those eyes. Oh, that God's alone. Are you alone? Is that so? You are not. You seem uneasy. Why is that? Can you tell me who you're looking for? You aren't safe anymore. <laughs> okay, so from what we saw right now is that the scene seemed to play normal. Until we get to the part where Angiris started to roar and the VHS ended up, ends up glitching, and the scene changes, showing now this. Godzilla, staring right at the screen with those very unsettling eyes. And what's even more unsettling is the fact that Godzilla breaks the fourth wall and interacts with the protagonist. And what he says, or even what he plans to do, really isn't good at all. Then, the screen proceeds to zoom in Godzilla's eyes, and after he said that one final sentence, everything goes to black. However, 
not before we see a glimpse of Ankiris, which definitely means that something suspicious is going around here. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Even Godzilla video can't escape Ad Avenue. <laughs> uh. Once this strange phenomenon is over, the protagonist once again speaks to us. And this time, he is going to investigate on what's going on with the tape. Because clearly, something odd is happening right now. Now we move on to the second video of the series, instance number 2. This time the protagonist tells us that he popped back the cassette on to see if he would get a new scene. And indeed, he did get a new scene. At the same time, he explains how the tapes that he got from his family a long time ago never really had this type of issue when he watched them, which is very understandable. I mean, it is very odd that after re-watching some old tapes, you see stuff that you never saw as a child, which is very, very weird. However, it's about so much as we move on to the new that. scene that he got, it seems that it reveals something quite dark, and something that maybe was hidden from Toho a long time ago. Holy shit, that's creepy. Ooh, those eyes, that's just creepy as hell. You not regret... Do you not regret killing me? I do not regret killing him. I bet... What? Oh my god. <laughs> Those eyes, the screen will not contain me forever. You know what? You know that, right? Okay, so just like last time, it seems that the scene played normal at first basically showing Godzilla attacking Angiris and then going to kill him. However, in that same moment that Godzilla is killing Angiris, the VHS once again glitches and Tex appears. It appears fast, but it can be slowed down, and what we read is clearly disturbing. Then, we move on to Godzilla, who is once again staring at the screen with even more disturbing eyes. He reveals what he did, and then proceeds to say something that is unnerving. And it is this line. This scream won't hold me forever. You know that, right? At the same time, there is music that is playing in the background, although I have no idea what it is. But that's not important. What's important is the clue that was revealed in this scene. It's clear that something happened a long time ago. Now we move on to the third and so far in the moment last video of the series, instance number three. This time the protagonist is intrigued to the point that he's shocked or even mind blown that he cannot <laughs> even describe what he saw. And what we see next confirms the clue that we saw in the second video.
so. When a trip for two oh my god, he's fucking ads. I miss the old days of YouTube when there were no ads. I miss those old days. Pre-2019. Okay, so on an I interesting note, yeah. rather than having a scene from Raids again, Instead, we have a picture back in high back of in Terror of Mega days Godzilla, of no ads. which is the ending where Godzilla goes to sea. That's what I used to love. And <laughs> while we're looking there at the no picture, there was no ads. No ads whatsoever. Appears. And it basically describes how Godzilla was feeling when he first went to the pool, that water tank that most of the Godzilla water scene were filmed. However, there is more to this. Because inside that water tank is where the body of Angiris was hidden. And maybe Angiris wasn't the only one to be killed. Then the video ends with the protagonist making a good point. If Toho was the cause of those accidents, then it would be public. And yet it wasn't. Toho kept it a secret for a long time. And this is where we end for now, the suit mission trials. Now, I believe we all know what's happening in the story, especially after watching Instance 2 and 3. A murder happened, which resulted in the death of the actor who played Angiris. However, the question is, how did it happen? There has been numerous theories about this. One saying that the actor who played Godzilla was indeed a murderer. The other saying that perhaps the suits are alive. However, there is one that for me seems to make more sense. This is a Roger Rabbit situation. Let me explain. In Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the movie takes place in a scenario where humans and animated cartoons live alongside each other. This could be a similar situation. Godzilla and Angiris are actually living beings and are basically playing a role in the movie. However, it seems that the Godzilla may have taken it too far, to the point that after killing Angiris, he most likely liked it. And to hide his evidence of murder, he proceeded to hide it in the pool. Hmm. That's kind of dark if you ask me, and even downright creepy. And after killing Angiris, it's possible that Godzilla may have went after the people who were part of the behind the scenes of uh, Raids Again. Now, I know that this is a theory, but it's a theory that is most likely possible that Godzilla and Angiris are actually living creatures that live alongside humans. And honestly, I think that this is the most possible outcome of this story. Why? Well, let's just say that the creator posted an image on the community post of his channel. And the image itself is... Wow. Well, it seems that Godzilla is definitely hunting down the protagonist. Now this could mean two things, one, that Godzilla was perhaps indeed in the tapes, which I guess could also answer how he's able to communicate with the protagonist, or it's maybe just, um, just a little teaser of uh, basically what he's going to do, which is literally stalk the protagonist's house. Who knows what it could be? But we have to wait until we get an instance number 4. Now, I know it sounded ridiculous when I said that Godzilla was in the tapes. Maybe he's not actually in the tapes and maybe he's actually in the television. How? I have no idea. Maybe he's a ghost? A demon? Or maybe he breaks all logic like a cartoon character? I have no idea. But it's clear that this Godzilla <laughs> is... Probably the most terrifying version out of the 
entire fan-made versions of the King of the Monsters. Uh, ads. Freaking ads. Oh, boy. Earn cash back that automatically adjusts to your spending. Okay, now we're basically at the conclusion. So, what do I think of the submission trials? Well, this is by far one of the best horror series starting Godzilla. I know there's only three videos at the moment, but it's amazing how the creator was able to do something actually scary with a Godzilla movie. Especially with the rules of analog horror and how it makes it so freaking frightening. I think the use of the Raids Again suit was definitely a good choice for Godzilla, especially with those really creepy eyes that he does when he stares at you. I also really like the mystery that it had, which it makes sense since it's analog horror and one of the main themes of analog horror is mystery. And this mystery right there is... Ooh. Honestly, I would put this series on the same level as the <coughs> NES Creepypasta. Both are capable <coughs> of making a good horror story starting Godzilla. Which I feel like is what Godzilla kind of misses. I mean, sure, the Godzilla franchise had a lot of, of uh, very dark scenes, but there was never a moment where something regarding Godzilla frightened you or even made your spines chill. And that's basically all I have to say about this series. And I can't wait to see more. So yeah, let's hope that the protagonist survives because I don't think Godzilla will let him go. So yeah, I'm the Godzilla Reader, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Sadly, I don't make videos on Halloween. It's because I'm working on Halloween, but um. Never had a Halloween off. Never, ever, ever had a Halloween off when I'm working. Never. Ever since I worked here, I have. Ever since I worked at White Castle, I've never had a Halloween off. <laughs> anyway, with that said, wow. <laughs> Those videos are pretty good. <sighs> and also, this video is also at like 17k views, which is. Has more views than any of my videos. <laughs> really, like I think my most popular video is like at 12k views. And that's a live stream. And I have no idea how I got that many views. Well, mostly I do because of a friend, because of a popular YouTuber. But wow. And yeah. <laughs> that said, that was pretty good. I'm kind of wondering when he's going to do another summation trial analysis. I am. But I think he said in the past that he will probably have to wait until like, another video comes out to continue the summation trials. He did make a teaser on the summation trials saying that it will return. I think he's just waiting for the moment for another summation trials video to come out. Like at the moment, I think the submission trials at the moment. I believe the submission trials at the moment are. There's a jet only after instance number three. There's only two more after that. A jet, two more. 
So I think he's kind of waiting for another Suit Mason trial video to come out. Speaking of the Suit Mason trials, I'm... Whoa, okay, that's new. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Speaking of the Summation Trials, I should probably do a reaction on that eventually. On the Summation Trials, kind of, I don't know. Because I hardly know anything about the Summation Trials. Legit don't know anything about the Summation Trials. Honest God, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. This is Anna Goji. With that said, this is Anna Goji signing off. And remember, stay big, um, G fans. Bye bye.